so I'm trying to s a new Chinese place tonight. It's not my normal. Well, you know, normally I get Thai, but tonight I'm trying a Chinese place right up the street, and I'm hoping that it's gonna be good because I really, really want General Tso's chicken, <laughs> and they had it, and I was excited. So it's Thursday night, and I went to CVS, and it's cold out here, and I'm not wearing a proper coat, but um, I'm just standing here um, watching them to see if they motion for me. Uh, when my stuff's ready, but they said it'd be 15 minutes and it's only been like three minutes. So that's what's going on. Yep, just uh, hanging out, waiting to uh, get some food. I'm trying this whole vlogging in public thing to see how it goes. I mean, most people talk on their phone like this anyway, so I'm pretty pretty sure that I am look crazy, but it doesn't matter. It's technology, man. It's technology. Um, yeah. Plus, this isn't half bad light, right? I'm right under a street lamp, so. <laughs> That's really all I got. All right, I'll talk to you guys when I get to my apartment. Bye. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Empty, but the guy, there was a guy just now that walked out and uh, he said that um, the General Sales chicken here is really good, so. Can't wait to find out. I'm hungry. <laughs> Alright, so I'm back at my apartment. I got Crab Rangoon. And I got General Tso's chicken. And let's see if I can at least try some Crab Rangoon on the, on the old uh, video. <laughs> That's pretty good. Now I ran into a guy outside who said that the General Tso's chicken was his wife's favorite. He said it's not really spicy though, it's kind of sweet. So, he's right. It's definitely sweet. <clears throat> so, I got a little tiny baby bottle of sriracha. So I'm about to get in here and deal with this. <laughs> and um, I'll talk with you guys in a little while. Okay, so I'm done with dinner. It was fan, well, it was pretty good. <laughs> I mean, I think that the Crab Rangoon actually had crab, like little, bits of crab in it. it wasn't very big bits of crab but it was there was crab so I thought I would invite you to my fortune cookie opening now do you have a method by which you eat your fortune cookies in other words do you read the fortune first and then eat the cookie or do you eat the cookie and then read the fortune I eat the cookie first and then read the fortune. Uh, now, sorry, I'm shaking you around. Hang on. I'm gonna, uh, let's put you over here for a second. Oh man, hang on. Oh, there we go. Um, so there are some crumbs in here. Gotta get those too. So the thought is, if you eat the cookie, read the fortune, and you don't want it to come true. Sorry. We burn the fortune. These are lemony. Whoa. So lemony. And if you do want the fortune to come true, then you just hang on to it. eat like that. <clears throat> it's supposed to snow here. Yeah.
<laughs> Are you getting uh, annoyed that I haven't read the fortune yet? Some people do. You gotta make sure you wash down the cookie. All right, here we go. <clears throat> it says, don't be afraid to take, to take a big step. You can't cross a chasm in two small jumps. Well, that's true. <laughs> All right. So did you hear that the guy who was like a prolific um, fortune cookie writer ran out of ideas, so he retired? That's what I heard. But no, that was uh, that was pretty good dinner. I also, in the mail, and I was so excited that I went ahead and opened it, but I got a, a delivery of new juice. This one is um, pistachio. I don't think you can probably see it, but I'm about to try that one out. I've been doing um, this Captain can't read it. Captain Charles Charleston Gray, which is a watermelon candy version. Um, I mean, it's been okay. I went, I'm not going to say it's my favorite because it's not. I probably won't order that one again. But um, I'm, I try to try a new one um, every time. But then I also always get my standards, which are Tripoli and um, Solier's Point. But this one smells pretty good. I, I try to, you know, mix it up a little bit. They used to have Commodore Perry, which was pear flavored, but they discontinued that. And then told me to get pear cake. I think I probably talked to you about that before. <clears throat> All right, I think I'm gonna wrap it up and get my mom on Skype and bug her. <laughs> Um, yeah, have a good day or good night or whatever, wherever you are. And I will talk to you guys probably tomorrow. All right. Bye.